Glomyeloma is a blood cancer uh, where the tumor cells in, are in the bone marrow. And it's relatively easy for us compared to solid tumors to get uh, model systems in the laboratory and even in animals that reflect both the tumor and the microenvironment. As a consequence, we can use these models to understand intrinsic uh, targets in the tumor cell, those that might interrupt growth or survival or trigger tumor cell death. We can understand in the microenvironment accessory cells and soluble cytokines and immune parameters that in fact could potentially be used to exploit and target these growth and survival mechanisms. So it's relatively easy um, to make these models and as a consequence, we can um, vastly expand the targets uh, that can be so-called Achilles heels in myeloma and targeted in new treatments. I think this AACR meeting is the most exciting one ever because the science has advanced so much. Um, genetics, epigenetics, metabolomics, studies of the immune system, so that we can really understand what are the obligate mechanisms for tumor cell growth and survival, drug resistance, and how can we, especially with the immune system, overcome these growth mechanisms. Um, in multiple myeloma, um, we've been ex extremely lucky. We had stem cell transplant after high dose therapy starting in the 1980s and it continues to evolve. We had um, immune, sorry, targeted therapies, the image, the proteasome inhibitors, monoclonal antibodies for the last 20 years and they keep getting better. But the real revolution in myeloma as in solid tumors is in the immune therapies. We have at this meeting the bispecific T-cell engagers and sessions about how to overcome resistance to bispecific T-cell therapies in myeloma. We have CAR T-cells here and how we can exploit and improve their uh, efficacy. I'll just point out that in the last couple of days, uh, CAR T-cells were FDA approved in myeloma Previously, they were only for patients who had four or more prior treatments. Now they're approved for patients who have only had one or two prior treatments. And it's my expectation that they'll likely be incorporated into the initial management of myeloma in the relatively near future.